welcome back to the channel on this video I'm going to be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there and so let's hop on and I'll tell you what I want to talk about on this video first of all I wanted to give you a weather report so we've recently had cold I'm calling it cold for this time of year very cool anyway weather unusually cool and now we've broken out into the heat and right now as I do this video here we're sitting at 91 degrees so definitely some serious heat going on right now so in this video since we are moving into a nicer weather in many places that also means more people out there to enjoy the weather including on their electric bikes and so I thought I would talk on this video about e-bike locks and do you trust them and I'm in the I don't trust the locks uh, side and uh, feel free to weigh in and leave a comment in the comments below on what your thoughts are on electric bike locks and uh, what works for you if you do use a lock and what locks do you trust and what kind of locks do you not trust now I just can't get comfortable um, locking my bike up the only way I will leave my bike is if somebody's standing guard over it and that's about it I, I just can't do it I thought about it and I thought about getting a lock and I just can't can't go there and uh, first of all the bikes are expensive and they're a hot item uh, bike theft is up and uh, it's a shame that we have this issue but that's that's the way it is and so uh, we have to deal with it and so I just can't do it I just can't lock mine up but I did look around at some of the locks that are the more popular locks and it looks to me like the foldy lock is a very popular one the kryptonite is another one and the u-lock I see a lot of those too so those are the ones that I see that in my little bit of research on locks that seem to be the most popular one I'm not saying they're the best ones because I don't know what is the best one uh, I know uh, some people lock their bike up with two or three locks most most times it seems like a lot of people use at least two locks and it's kind of funny because here you are you may run into the store for example and be like five minutes in the store and yet it takes you five minutes or more to lock up the bike because you have multiple locks but you have to do it and um, I just haven't been comfortable yet I might be in the minority I don't know on this I, I think if you get the right locks I guess you can uh, maybe uh, maybe I could have my mind changed on this but so let me know in the comments what your uh, thinking is or your situation with locks have you had good luck with locks have you had a bike stolen um, because they cut through the lock or locks and if they did what kind of lock did you have on there that they were able to uh, get your bike and maybe somebody out there has ideas for a lock that is the absolute a1 it's a real winner and that's the one to get 
and share that if you'd like with us uh, in the comments below that'd be uh, nice to know uh, some people with experience on locks I don't have any experience because like I said I just can't I can't do it can't trust them So I either take mine inside or I have somebody standing guard uh, to watch. Also, maybe if you uh, know of a good lock, let us know the price of that lock that you suggest that we use. Because it uh, looks to me like if you want a pretty decent lock, you're looking uh, for sure north of $100. Probably, it looks like $150 to $200 for a really good lock. but. Maybe somebody has a better idea than I do on that, on the pricing and what will get you a good lock should you be looking for one. So that's going to do it for this video. I just thought I'd bring up the topic of locks since we have beautiful weather now and I think the beautiful weather is probably now here to stay as we are officially in the summer now. And so I thought, uh, oh, let's talk about locks and what people do to lock their bikes up or do they even lock their bikes up and do they trust it. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.